tell me a little bit about your character that you play in Fargo. Okay, my character is named Bill Oswalt, and I'm a deputy uh -huh. when the show starts, but then uh, some bad things happen. Uh-oh. And oof. Bad things happen in this show? Lots of bad things happen. Fun to watch from the safety of your TV set. Yeah. And, uh, and then I get into a position of power, okay. which is not where my character should be. Really? Yeah. He abuses power? He does not abuse power. No, he's a very sweet guy. Okay. He's so sweet and, and good-hearted that he, is, he can't, he's, he's an impediment to, to exploring this crime that's happening because he, he just can't get his head around it. Is he an intelligent man? He is a smart guy, but his, his intelligence is definitely um, uh, held back by his need to believe the best about the world around him. Uh -huh. he, he, he just needs to hold on to a very innocent and uh, sweet uh, vision of the world that he lives in, which is a small town. Mm -hmm. Bemidji is where it's set, mm -hmm. Bemidji, Minnesota. And... Uh, because he can't get his head around it and it kind of needs to believe that people are good and the community is good and nothing can be can go that awry, he's just the last possible person you need in charge of uh, finding out what's actually going on. Okay. Because what's going on is pure evil <laughs> in the form of Billy Bob Thornton's character. He is evil incarnate. He is a demon walking the earth. <laughs> okay. We're dancing around specifics a little. We can't get too specific. He is a demon let loose in a field of sheep, most of whom are wearing police uniforms. Uh-oh. Foreshadowing. What would a demon like more than that? Like easy prey yeah. and dressed as policemen. <laughs> Is it fun to play? Super fun, yeah, super fun. It's really well written. Noah Hawley is the writer, and uh, he's written just great characters for all of us. And uh, all the characters uh, come to uh, hit brick walls and, and kind of crumble and break and, and uh, have to re-examine themselves. And it's, it's fun to play that. Now, yesterday I had two great scenes. I had a great scene with Martin Freeman, mm -hmm who plays Lester, and a big scene with Molly, played by Allison Tolman. And all in both of those scenes, you know, everybody is just redefining their world, you know, because, because we're on, we're shooting right now, episode eight. Mm -hmm. So by that point in the story, people can no longer hold on to their, um, you know, initial um, conceptions of the world they have to start conceding yeah. that things are different than what they want them to be okay how much did you know about the small town in minnesota before you started well i'm from i'm from naperville illinois um which is 35 miles southwest of chicago so it's near a big city but it's it's a small town and it was a small town when i grew up there was twenty thousand people and, uh, and an old city, 150 years old, even when I grew up there. Um, and I spent a lot of time in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I had relatives, too, from Wisconsin. And so uh, I, I feel like I know a lot of small-town uh, Midwest environment and people, yeah. It can be a different world. Yeah, I think nowadays, you know, there's been so much sprawl, and with the internet, you know, I think people share, a, a, their world is shared more. But I always say Bemidji, you know, you're still still seeing small town um, psychology and small town values and stuff. Yeah. 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 Even when a drifter comes by. Yep. Rock and roll? Oh, uh, what was most, I, really quickly, we'll just wrap up here. First of all, sorry about my long answers. No, I love long answers. I've overanalyzed this thing now. It so. makes my job it's easy. It's just a fun show. It, that's, I got to tell you, people ask me why did, you know, what attracted you to it? And 
first of all, I played a character named Saul Goodman on a show called Breaking Bad. And on that show, my character was very cynical and manipulative of the people around him and, and certainly very quick to believe the worst possible motives, which oftentimes were true in that show. Uh, but this character is the opposite of that. So that attracted me. I'm playing a character who is super innocent, holds on to his innocence, really good hearted, um, but misguided because he's too, too sweet. Yeah. Um, and, but, but secondarily, I was attracted to how fun the show was to read and, and to conceive of. I think it's going to be a really fun show to watch. Yeah. And what we've been hearing is that it really does capture the tone of the movie. Well, that's, people ask, what did you take from the movie? It's not even set in Fargo. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's set in Bemidji mm -hmm. and, uh, Duluth, um, but the tone, the, the vibe, the people, the, the sort of bigger formula of Fargo, of, like I said, pure evil and pure innocence kind of trying to mix yeah. is, what, is what comes from the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I think, funny and exciting and surprising. It's great. Okay. How about the accent? How is that to master? Oh, you know, <laughs> it's not too hard. I mean, I'm from Chicago, which has a little of it in there, you know. Yeah. See, even that Chicago yeah. is ah, 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 Chicago. But the thing that's weird about it is it's very easy unless you have a coach, and we have a coach, mm -hmm. a dialogue coach who's watching us all the time. It's, it's easy to slip into Canadian, you know, yeah. a boot, but it's not that. It's about. They over-enunciate the owl. Uh, they overdo it. They do it totally more different. than uh, sort of a Midwesterner would. And uh, so it's a very weird little mix, and it's really just in that community. It's not, it doesn't spread too much, although some people in northern Wisconsin probably also speak in that uh, accent. Yeah.